Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Scampi tutorials. So I am a R and a Threat user, but uh, when I start to do more of my data analysis, I found that uh, lots of new tools were developed for Python. So I start to learn how to use Scampi for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. So today I'm going to show you how to do single cell RNA sequencing data analysis using Scampi. Scampi was developed based on throughout functions for analyzing single cell RNA sequencing data in Python. So I'm going to follow the uh, code for the Scampi tutorials using the dataset PBM6. But I'm not going to use this dataset, I'm going to use my own dataset. If you prefer to use the, the dataset for PBM6, you can download it from here. For the PBM6 data demonstration, they have very clear explanation for each step. So if you have any questions, you can just open this website and uh, uh, read the details. So if I open my folder, uh, you can see I downloaded the PBMC dataset already called HG19. But today I'm going to use my dataset for the human lung single cell data analysis. If you don't know how to download the dataset, you can watch my short video tutorial one. I showed you uh, how to download needs data sets in details in that video. So today I'm going to use the data set uh, IPF1 in for the demonstration. This data set is one of three repeat for fibrotic human lung um, single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. So if we open this folder, you can see we have the buckles, genes, and the matrix data here. So there are two differences for reading uh, the data into Python compare uh, the read 10 times measured in R. When we read the data into R, we need to change the gene files to feature files and also we need to compress all the uh, data, barcode, genes, and the matrix. Here, we just keep it like this, barcode, the genes, and the matrix data. So now we can open Python to perform the analysis. So I'm using the uh, Jupyter Notebook. If you look at the, uh, the PBMC, uh, Tutorials. First, we need to note the dependencies for NumPy, Pandas, and the Scampi. Scampi is the version, and like Strat in R for single cell RNA sequencing data analysis. But uh, I'm going to note more dependencies because I found if I just use these uh, three dependencies, uh, I got some warnings on my computer. So first thing we need to note all the dependencies. The next we can use uh, the recommended settings for um, visualize the data. So I didn't make any changes uh, for those settings. You can just copy it from the PBMC uh, tutorial code. So now we can read the uh, data. You can see here the PBMC tutorial they use the HG19. Here I'm using my IPF1 NIN and data for the human fibrotic lung. 
So in this data set, the purified methane comes out from human lung by flow cytometry. Then did the single RNA sequencing analysis. So we can use the read ten times function in Python to read the data in. Let's have a look at the data. So at the moment, you can see uh, the data we have uh, 4,395 uh, cells and uh, 33,694 uh, genes. Uh, the gene name was stored in the A data as uh, A data variable names. We can have a look at uh, the genes, you can see if we run this code, we can see uh, all the gene names. Now we can make the gene names unique. This function is to avoid the uh, duplication for the genes. So we can run this function. Now oh, we can have a look at the observation names because the observation names are the uh, barcode. So we, if we run this one, you can see uh, all the barcodes in this data set. So if you watch my uh, throughout video tutorials, so it will be very easy for you to understand the uh, analysis using SCMP in Python. So here, First thing we need to uh, filter the cells. We will keep the cells that have minimum 200 genes and also we filter out uh, uh, the genes that are expressed below three cells. So let's do the uh, filtering. Now we can uh, calculate the um, the might the mitochondria genes. What mitochondria genes have a name start with MT hyphen? Then we can calculate the QC uh, matrix to obtain the, the percentage of mitochondria gene in each cell. So we can run this function. So let's uh, have a look at the A data observations, if you run a uh, nice uh, code, it shows the data like we uh, look at the metadata in uh, Surat. So you can see we have the row names uh, for the barcode, we have the information for the gene count in each cell and the N gene by counts. Here you see uh, the difference and that's because we did the filtering. Then we have the total count, uh, total count for mitochondria genes and then we can calculate the percentage of mitochondria genes for each cell. So now we can uh, do a varying plot to see the uh, gene counts and the total counts and the percentage of mitochondria uh, genes. Using the wiring plot, you can see in this data set, majority cells have gene count uh, below 5,000 and uh, the total count is below uh, 20,000 and the percentage of mitochondria DNA is uh, below uh, 10%. So we can um, filter the cells again. We can keep the cells, have the gene account below 5,000, the total account below 20,000, and the uh, mitochondria DNA percentage below 10%. So in this way, we can filter out uh, uh, low quantity cells or for high count of possible double need. So we can do the uh, filtering. Now we can run the wiring plot again. You can see now 
you can see all the cells have uh, genes account below 5,000, total count below 20,000, and uh, uh, the mitochondria DNA percentage is below 10%. So this is the uh, quantity control step in threat analysis. So we have performed the quantity control for this data set using Scanty in Python. So in the PBMC uh, tutorial, we can also uh, see the top 20 highly expressed genes. So we can run this code, you can see the top 20 highly expressed gene in this data set. So now we can save our data if we want to stop the analysis uh, for a break. For me, I just want to make a shorter videos and then you don't uh, lose concentration when you watch my videos. Let's uh, save the data. So next time when you want to start again, uh, for the rest of the analysis, we can read the data into uh, Python. So we can have a look at our folder. You can see now we have a file called uh, ipf one nin h 5 id so we save the uh, the data after the quantity control analysis.